Hello and welcome back to the Weekend Warm-Up presented by SCSUTickets.com. I'm Michaela Wrench here to catch you up and preview another busy weekend in Husky Athletics. Last week, the women's swim and dive team was in action for the NSIC Championships in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It was a very successful week in the pool for swim and dive, finishing in the second place with Madison Brinkman taking home a conference title in the one meter dive. With that, Brinkman was named NSIC Diver of the Year. The Huskies now wait as the field for the NCAA Championships becomes set. Those meets will take place in early March in Greensboro, North Carolina. As the women's swim and dive season comes towards an end, the baseball season is just getting started. They were on the road in Arkadelphia, Arkansas for their first couple of games on the season in the Henderson State Invitational. It was not a weekend the Huskies would like to remember. Over the four game stretch, the Huskies finished one and three with a bounce back win against Wichita Baptist on Sunday. The Huskies will take another long road trip next week to Salem, West Virginia for another four game stretch, February 24th through the 26th. Keeping it on the diamond, the SCSU softball team had more success inside the Husky Dome for the Kelly Loss Invitational. After a long weekend, the Cardinal and Black came out on top with a record of 3-1 with three wins against NSIC competition. A trip to Topeka, Kansas is on the docket next for the Washburn Invite starting February 25th. Wrestling continued dominance last weekend with powerful, powering performances against MSU Moorhead and Northern State. The Huskies strolled their way to a 40-4 final against the Dragons and then finishes with a 26-6 win against the number 21 ranked Wolves. The Huskies wrap up their regular season against one of their toughest opponents in the number 10, Augustana, coming up on Thursday in Sioux Falls. The busy week continued on the court with the men's and women's basketball teams. It was a short week on the women's side with the game against you, Mary being canceled, but they still showed out with a commanding 83-65 win at Minot State for their long game on the weekend. The men had a full schedule but fell short in game one to the Beavers and in game two in Bismarck against you, Mary. A different look to their schedule continues this week to wrap up their regular season with Crookston in town on Thursday, and then they will head on the road to Bemidji on Saturday. To wrap up last week, the action was hot on the ice as both men's and women's hockey was in action. The women welcomed in number one ranked Minnesota on Friday to kick off a home and home series. The Gophers proved too strong over the weekend, coming away with a sweep after a 5-3 and 5-1 finals. The Huskies were able to switch their fortune a bit on Tuesday as they grabbed a shootout win versus rival Minnesota Duluth. They will wrap up the season this weekend against the same Minnesota Duluth team at Ams Oil Arena. Over to the men's side, number five ranked Western Michigan was in town for a crucial NCHC series. The Huskies powered to it overtime, but would fall in a shootout in game one. Game two would result much better with a commanding 4-1 win. The Huskies still ranked fifth in the conference and will gear up for Nebraska Omaha this weekend. Taking a look at more results from across St. Cloud State Athletics. Women's tennis fell to rivals Augustana and Sioux Falls, and Nordic Ski competed in the CCSA Conference Championships. This was highlighted by Teresa Bully, who was able to notch a pair of top 20 finishes on the weekend. This included a seventh place finishes in the 15K freestyle. Anna Stockinger was able to grab a 25th in the same race. Now coming up this weekend, women's track and field will hit the road to Mankato again for the Maverick Invitational. Women's tennis has a pair of matches against U Mary and MSU Moorhead, and Nordic Ski has the NCAA Central Region Skiing Championships in Duluth on Saturday and Sunday. That wraps up another filled edition of the Weekend Warm-Up brought to you by SDSUTickets.com. Join us next week for the latest in Husky Athletics.